Don't get confused between what a ratio is and a proportion. And they're really like, you know, typical in algebra and whatnot, but it's important before you even start. Proportions are used to solve problems and ratios are just like statements of fact. So as an example, you know, kind of a generic ratio, you can say for every bike, there are two pedals, right, to every uh, one seat. And that's just a, you know, again, that's just a statement of fact. And so for every single bike in the world, there's always two pedals for every one seat. And the way you would solve a problem then would be to set up a proportion from that. So they might say, um, we know that there are two pedals for every one seat. How many seats if I have 18 pedals, right? And all you do whenever you have a word problem like that is you set up two ratios like this, two ratios opposite each other with an equal sign, and make sure that your units are the same. So if pedals was on top on the left, then I would have pedals on top. And if seats were on the bottom, then I'd put seats on the bottom. Then later you could fill in the numbers, right? But for now, I just want to make sure that my units are consistent. So they said uh, in this problem, oh, you know, so you always have two pedals for every one seat. How many seats would you have if you had 18 pedals? You blindly plug in what they said. 18 pedals for every how many seats, right? You know, how many is always a variable. It's always X. So that's it. And then <coughs> proportions are best solved doing cross multiplication. It's really annoying because like a lot of smart kids would be like, oh, I can just do this in my head, obviously, you know, blah, blah, blah. I wouldn't do that because sometimes it gets like decimally or they're hard fractions to figure out. I would always cross multiply. And don't forget, cross multiplying means him times him equals him times him. So forget the units. In this case, 18 times 1, 18 equals him times him, 2x, right? Then just solve, do your algebra. Oh, okay, divided by 2, divided by 2, x equals... Excuse me, the answer is not 2. Uh, 18 divided by 2 is 9. The answer is 9. Remember, I was looking for seats, so the answer is 9 seats. So again, just be careful. Ratio is the, is the actual statement of fact. There's always this many per that many. It could be miles per gallon or, you know, um, males per female or whatever, right? Um, but then a proportion is when you are able to set them opposite of an equal sign and then cross multiply. Cross multiplying is a pretty important skill. So that's it. Remember, if you're struggling in Algebra 1, you can take this online at Silicon Valley High School and have the credits transferred back to your school from there.